Hello dear students. Uh, in today's session we will understand the concept of diagonals of a polygon. So first of all let us understand the definition of a diagonal. What is a diagonal? A diagonal is a line segment connecting two non consecutive vertices two non consecutive vertices of a polygon so we will first try to understand this statement line segment connecting two non consecutive vertices of a polygon non consecutive meaning say for example take this triangle b a and c these are the three vertices b and c are consecutive vertices b and a are also consecutive vertices do you think any other vertex is left no so we cannot draw any diagonal in a triangle because here we are not able to get a line segment which can connect to non consecutive vertices okay let us now draw a quadrilateral quadrilateral meaning this is a polygon having four sides so i have drawn a polygon having four sides a b b c c d d a these are the four sides now we will do an exercise we will try to join the line segments connecting two non consecutive vertices so you see here there are four vertices let me mark the points a b c d these are the four vertices a and b are consecutive a and c are these consecutive vertices no so if we make a line segment joining ac this will be one diagonal right now a and d these are consecutive vertices so if we join a and d we will get the side of the triangle but we will not get the diagonal similarly if we join a and b we get the side of the quadrilateral but we are not getting the diagonal okay let us move on to the vertex b try to make the diagonal so we see that we can draw this diagonal bd from c already ca and ac it will be the same diagonal from d already db and from b this is bd this is the same diagonal so how many diagonals are there in a quadrilateral yes in let, let us uh, write this also if the shape is a quadrilateral n is equal to 4 that is number of sides and number of diagonals we have got as 2 okay now let us try to make a concave quadrilateral this is a convex quadrilateral i am writing here this is the case of a convex convex quadrilateral i hope uh, you have seen the previous videos in which i have talked about what is a concave polygon and what is a convex polygon and how we get to know about it okay so here this is a convex quadrilateral uh, let us see how we can get a concave quadrilateral and how we can draw a diagonal in the concave quadrilateral so let me make it first 3 4 so here you can see a b c d is a concave quadrilateral if i start from the vertex b i see that 
BC is the side BA is also the side so I am left with only what this vertex D with which I can join this just see I am trying to draw this so this will be the diagonal and you know that here the diagonal is coming outside the quadrilateral okay now see which is the second one which is possible uh, let us try to draw from the vertex C if we see we can draw this CA CA is another diagonal and this CD and CB are the two sides now check from D no we cannot draw any because DC and DA are uh, the sides and DB is same as BD so it is the same diagonal now from the vertex A only this AC is possible it's the same as CA so this is the second diagonal so you can see that whether it is a concave quadrilateral or it is a convex quadrilateral number of uh, sides is 4 and number of diagonals we are getting is 2 so try to understand this okay now let us take a pentagon so pentagon has 5 sides 1 2 3 4 5 so quickly we are going to draw the diagonals so a b c d e this is a pentagon and we can now mark the vertices a b c d e so we are not going to join two consecutive vertices rather we would be joining and making line segments connecting to non-consecutive vertices. So, one, this AC is possible. Then AD is possible. Then from B, this is one diagonal. And then this is another one. From C, already CA we have drawn. So, this is possible. D already 2 have drawn from E 2 are already there fine so how many diagonals are there in this first we will be writing this is a pentagon and in this pentagon number of sides is 5 and number of diagonals is also 5 just check AC or CA, AD or DA, 1, 2, then BE or BD, that is 3, 4, and this EC. Okay, so these are the 5 diagonals. So let me count again. This is 1. So you can see this is 1. This is 2. This is 3, this is 4 and this one is 5. Okay, now I will be sharing with you an algebraic formula for calculating the number of diagonals if the number of sides are known. So the formula of number of diagonals in a polygon You can calculate it using the formula n into n minus 3 divided by 2. n into n minus 3 divided by 2. So let us use this and try to see. Say for example n is representing number of sides of polygon then number of diagonals is n into n minus 3 divided by 2 okay say for example n is 4 so we will be solving 4 
into four minus three upon two, which is equal to four into one upon two. We can simplify, and we get number of diagonals is two. If it is a pentagon, so number of sides is five, and the number of diagonals will be five into five minus three divided by two. So that is five into two upon two. Two and two gets cancelled. We get five. This you have checked it also. So if it's a hexagon, tell me how many diagonals will be there, and you try to draw that. So this is six into six minus three upon two, which is six into three upon two. You can cancel. Oh, sorry, three twos are six. So the answer will be six. Oh, sorry, this is two three the six. So answer will be nine. See, we can also mis make mistakes. Okay, now if it's a heptagon. Tell me, seven into seven minus three upon two, that is seven into four upon two. We can cancel, so there will be fourteen diagonals in a heptagon. So tell me, if it's a hundred-sided polygon, so how many diagonals will be there? If it is a hundred-sided polygon, yes, hundred. Into hundred minus three upon two, that is hundred into ninety-seven upon two. So you can cancel. This is fifty. Oh my God! So many number of diagonals. Four thousand eight hundred and fifty. amazing so you don't have to draw this so you can check up to say seven sided polygon and you will see that this formula is quite useful in calculating number of diagonals in a polygon i hope uh, this concept is clear to all of you have a nice day bye bye